Hello guys, we have implemented enough number of programs for stack. Now let's go for the next data structure which is queue. So queue is a data structure which follows first in first out algorithm. It is also referred as last in last out. Now under queue there are different types like linear queue is there, circular queue is there, parity queue is there and dequeue queue is there. Dequeue queue is doubly ended queue. So in this video we are going to see the linear queue. So suppose this is the container which is used to hold the elements. Now Q is a data structure which is both end open data structure unlike stack. Stack is one end open, one end closed. Q is both end open data structure. Now this end from which I will insert the element is called as rear end. And this end from which I will remove the elements is called as front end. So suppose I insert some element, suppose I insert first element which is 12, then it will go from this end and it will be stored here. If I insert second element 24, then again it will go from this end and it will be stored here next to the previous element. If I insert the third element 36, then it will go from this end and it will be stored next to the previous element. So when I remove the element, First 12 will come out, then 24 will come out and then 36 will come out. That's why it is first in, first out. Now suppose I want to implement Q in C++, then how you will implement that? First you need to take one array as a data member in a class. So suppose this is one array which I declare as a data member of class Q. This is 0th index element, this is 1st index element, 2nd index element, 3rd index element and fourth index element. What will be the other data members of class Q? What we have done in class stack, we had taken one data member which was top to indicate the topmost element. Now here I need to take two data members, one is front, other is rear to indicate front end element and rear end element. So I will declare two more variables, one will be front and other will be rear in my class as data member. Operations on Q will become member functions of the class. So there will be constructor, first member function will be constructor of class, then insert function will be there which will indicate the insert operation, the remove function will be there which will indicate the remove operation and apart from that there will be two more functions, one is easeful function and another one is ease empty function to handle the exceptions of overflow and underflow. Now let's see the definition of each function one by one. So first will be the constructor. Now in constructor you will initialize front and rear data members and this array. Array, need, array you need not to initialize, it is already declared and it will be having some garbage values. But front and rear you have to initialize. So in case of stack we have, we have initialized top to minus one if you remember. In the same way here also I will initialize front and rear to minus one inside the constructor. Now after that when I insert the element, suppose if I insert first element then it will be stored here 12. So at that time what you will do? In your program you need to first increment the rear value. So when I insert first element, first rear will come from minus 1 to 0 and after that you will store the element at incremented value. Now when you insert the second element, rear will come from 0 to 1 and second element will be stored at incremented index. When I insert third element, rear will come from 1 to 2 and third element will be stored at incremented index. So algorithm for insert will be first increment the rare value and then store the element at incremented index. What about the remove function? For remove function it is similar first increment the front value and then fetch the element at incremented index or return the element at incremented index that means suppose I call the remove function first time then front will come from minus 1 to 0 and this 12 will be returned. If I call remove function second time front will come from 0 to 1 and it will return the value 24. For third time it will come from 1 to 2 and it will return the value 36 and so on. So for remove operation algorithm will be 
increment the front value and return the element at incremented index. What about the functions is full and is empty? So let's go for is full first. So how will be the picture of the queue when queue is full? So suppose all the elements are filled, say 12, 24, 36, 48, 16, something. At that time, where will be front and where will be rear? So since all elements are filled, rear will be pointing to the rear end element and no element is removed. So front will point to minus 1. So value inside front will be minus 1 and value inside rear will be 4. So this will be the picture of the queue when all elements are filled. So what you need to check in each full function, you have to check the value of rear. When the value of rear is 4 or in general, when the value of rear is size minus 1, at that time queue is full. Now what about the is empty function? So how will be the picture when queue is empty? So under that there will be two subcases. So suppose there is no element inside my queue. So initially front and rear both will be pointing to minus 1. So now the queue is empty. So you can say that one case is when front and rear both are minus 1 queue is empty. Now there is another case when queue will be empty and that case is suppose if I perform n number of insert operations and n number of remove operations that means suppose if I perform three inserts and three removes so after three inserts this will be the picture rear will be here and now if I perform three remove operations then again front will also come to the index 2 so both front and rear will be pointing to the second index so at that time q is empty that means in general when the q is empty if front and rear both are pointing to the same index it may be minus 1 or 0 or 1 whatever it may be but when front and rear both are pointing to the same index then q will be empty so this was about the empty condition so let's implement the program for q let me declare class q with data members first data member will be array int arr array of some size now this size should be macro so i will define the macro size which is fiu and other data members i will take are front and rear so in the public part I will declare the functions of class so default constructor will be there then insert function will be there insert function will take one integer argument with data to be inserted remove function will be there return type of remove is integer and there is no argument remove function will remove the element then is full function will be there and is empty function will be there so bool is full bool is empty I will write down the definitions of this function so in the default constructor we have already seen the definitions in the theory part so in the default constructor I will initialize front and rear to minus 1 so front equals to rear equals to minus 1 in insert function it is taking data as an argument in the insert function I will increment the rear part and I will store the element so before that I check if not it's full that means if the queue is not full then I will insert the element so then arr of plus plus rear equals to data else I will throw the exception so else throw Q is full some message I am throwing or you can throw overflow remove function will be there which is written like this 
return type of remove will be integer no argument and name of the function is remove in the remove function what you will do in the remove function if not is empty this will be the condition if it is not empty then i will return the element which is at arr of plus plus front that means first i am incrementing the front value and then i am returning the element this is function it's full is also function so you have to write parenthesis in this part i am throwing the exception so here it is q is empty now is empty it's full functions i need to write so bool class name is q scope solution is full we have seen the full condition for linear queue full condition is if rare equal equals to size minus 1 then q is full and empty condition will be if rare equal equals to front so i am returning the true or false so these will be the definitions here it is is empty now let me create the object let me insert few elements few numbers and i will print them so create object of q class q q then q dot insert so i am inserting 12 then i am inserting second element third element fourth element say second element is 15 then third one is 1 and fourth one is 1 2 3 and now if i remove out should output should be 12 15 1 1 2 3 q dot remove since it is first in first out so now let me compile and run g++ name of the file is q.cpp there is an error on line number 3040 semicolon is missing so here when i throw the exception after that semicolon is missing now a dot out i will run so it is 12151123 so output is coming so this is how you will implement queue you will put this function calls in try catch in try catch block so that you will handle the exceptions of overflow and underflow and also i will advise you to make this program menu driven so that depending on user cho choice uh, he will enter some elements and you will get the output so let let me show you the code for menu driven program so i have changed only main function in main function i am printing the menu here so one for insert operation two for remove operation and three for exit after that i am taking choice from the user and depending on user enter choice i am executing the particular case in case one i call the insert function that is called insert try catch to handle the overflow exception in case two i have called remove function it is also under try catch and in case three i am exiting from the program so the whole code is put into the infinite while loop so that i can perform the operations n number of times so let me run this code g++ q dot cpp dot slash a dot out so menu is printed first option insert so i am inserting 12 then again insert 24 then again insert 36 so i have inserted three elements now if i remove first 12 will come out then 24 then 36 since it is first in first out so when i press two option remove removed element is 12 then again remove remove removed element is 24 again remove option it is 36 now all elements are removed if i call remove one more time then it will throw me an exception that q is empty so this is how you are supposed to implement the program if you want to exit from the execution of the program then 3 is the option so i will come out now i will also advise you to 
divide this program into different files like q.h, q.cpp and main.cpp. So this was about the implementation of Q. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video, share the video and don't forget to subscribe.